Welcome in, listener. You're listening to a segment from the Slump Buster podcast with Juju and Dre. Find the full episode on Spotify, iTunes, the Google Play Store, or our YouTube channel. Enjoy. Great fight night. I mean, Joanna versus, you know, Wei Lei. That was just where it ranks historically in terms of fights. It's going to be one of the big arguments. But dude, it was a banger. Those two were just giving it all they had. I was going for Yana. That was like my pick to win the fight. But and there were some contention that you could have thought that maybe she got the win. It was mm-hmm. a close decision either way. I think what probably swayed it is the judges looked at her face and said, yeah, you probably lost this one. Yeah. No, you're exactly right. To me, that goes down as one of the best fights in all of MMA history, right? A lot of people are saying it is the best fight in women's MMA history. I would probably agree with that out of all the women's fights that I've seen. Even that Cyborg and Amanda Nunez fight, right? Like it was a little bit less climactic, right? Is that, you know, it basically ended with just Amanda Nunez pummeling Cyborg, even though there was a few back and forth moments in that. It just wasn't as exciting. But this, man, this was by far the best women's fight I've ever seen. And it was almost a clash of different styles. They were on sort of the same level of fighting ability, right? Like, so you want to do Jack is probably one of the most stri- uh, technical strikers in all of MMA, right? So she's got really crisp, clean hits. She's really quick. You could tell every single time she ended one of her combinations, she was always throwing a leg kick, right? So she's got great head movement, great combinations, puts it together with both the hands and the feet. And then Zhang Wei Li, she, you know, very similarly is also very technical, but less technical than Yoana. However, she's just got power. And some of those straight rights that I was seeing her throw, like, I think that would have knocked me out, right? And I'm a, I'm a grown man. I couldn't imagine being Yoana taking those lumps. You mentioned Joanna's combos. They were just works of art. Just fucking majestic to watch. Made up for a very disappointing main event, which we're going to unfortunately have to talk about. Now, Annie, I just got a quick question actually for you here. Kind of like messing around with some boxing right now. Do you think you could, <laughs> could take some of these strikes that this woman was throwing down? Like just seeing the before and after photos? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Not without headgear, not with that, not with the feet involved. Nah, I, this is a whole, I respect these women on a whole other level. Um, <laughs> it's hard enough learning a sport and just learning how to use your hands and upper body, but you mix in the kicks, you mix in the D girls are just going in on each other. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I said, respect props. I, 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 nope, couldn't do it. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, Annie, how much would we have to pay you to hop in the cage with one of these women? Oh God. Um, let's think. I'm trying to think of like the max of like getting all the plastic surgery I'd have to get done after getting my face (laughs) punched into the dental work. Um, my mother's therapy for seeing me get my ass beat. Yeah. Uh, All the blood that your mom would have to literally, literally, uh, it would be, I mean, it wouldn't be cheap. Absolutely not. At least a million dollars. At least. Ooh. Big At rolling. least a million. Hey, I, I want that Mayweather money. Uh, not exactly that Mayweather money, but um, I'm I think thinking Floyd make, Heights here. I think you can make more. I mean, what, a popular measurement on the show is a Kirk Cousins, which is $84 million guaranteed. I think if you lasted a full like round, I would think you have earned at least two Kirk Cousins. I'll take that. Absolutely. I'll take that. <laughs> if I can get two Kirk Cousins, I will go in that ring. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely would too, Juju. You asked me earlier if I would if I would take some punches. I might even do it for like a quarter of a Kirk Cousins. A quarter Kirk? Okay. A quarter Kirk. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But like you said, like we're saying here, it had to make up for this just absolute terrible main event. Now I get that Israel is a counter striker, but my God, just throw something. That entire first round was there was more dance moves thrown in that than punches. It was so disappointing to watch. I was expecting so much more from these fighters. They were hyping it up too. They were building up a rivalry and there was more action in the post-fight interviews than there was in the entire fight. The post-fight interviews actually made me excited. Where was that excitement for the entire five rounds? Oh yeah. No, I know. And so obviously you're better at picking football than I am. And I'm not afraid to admit that, Juju. And you know, for me, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm doing pretty well in my UFC picks, right? I think I've, I definitely lost the Conor McGregor comeback fight one and I've lost one other than that, but every other pick I've gotten right. And you know, I got the, the Wei Lee pick correct the, the fight before, but I was so disappointed in getting this pick correct because this was the worst fight I think I've ever seen. I wish both guys honestly could have lost the fight. Like 
if I were a judge and I was scoring the fight, I would just give them both L's and say neither of you deserves to win this fight. Because like you said, there was more dance moves than there were punches thrown. The last 10 seconds was really exciting. We saw this weird sort of cartwheel kick and, you know, Yoel Romero ducked underneath that cartwheel that Adesanya was throwing. You see him sort of get up and explode and you think that there's maybe going to be one good punch or knee and then the round ends and they're screaming at each other and I'm like, where the heck was that? The entire, you know, 25 minutes of the fight. So you had 24 minutes and 50 seconds and we didn't see any of that. I was, I was extremely disappointed. Obviously, you know, we're millennials. We legally stream the fight. I'm not afraid to admit it. It's what we do. And I still wanted my hypothetical money back. No, I, mean, I actually bought this fight, Juju. I bought this one. Okay, so now you have to pig me as the criminal in this. I'm just saying, not cool I that. really actually want my money back. So <laughs> <laughs> I legit want my 65 bucks back that I wasted on that crap. Israel's out there shouting, look at his leg, look at his leg. I don't give a shit about his leg. Give me something more than that. Yeah, his leg is a little bit banged up, but Jesus, throw a punch, something, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, nobody cares about, like, oh, how many leg kicks did you throw? Like, everybody wants to see, like the Ioana fight. You can obviously see her face, right? Her nose was broken. She had these huge lumps and welts all over her face and head. Like, that's what you want to see. That's how you know, okay, that was a battle. Nobody's going to say, hey, what's your leg look like in the morning, right? And so it was just just so disappointing. And what's even more disappointing is because that last 10 seconds was so good, that was sort of a glimpse at the fight that could have been. Imagine if those guys had that intensity the entire five rounds that they were fighting and imagine how explosive they both could have been. You know that Adesanya has the length and the reach, but he's very dynamic and does some weird strikes like that cartwheel kick. And then, you know, Yoel just out of nowhere sometimes can just turn it on. And that's what I actually thought that he was sort of doing. I thought that he was conserving energy because one of my big knocks on him, and I think I might have texted you this when we were, when we were coming up with our picks, is that uh, Yoel, he sometimes gasses out of energy. So he has a very good style when it comes to fighting. He's got all the tools, the wrestling, the striking, the explosiveness, but he uses it a little bit too much in a lot of his fights. And he gasses out towards, you know, the end of even the second round, he's starting to look a little bit gassed and into the third. So especially a five round fight, I figured, okay, he'll want to conserve his energy. After the first round, I wasn't, I wasn't too surprised. Second round, I was like, okay, I, I give it to him, right? He's probably still conserving energy. And then after that, I was just pissed off. It was so frustrating. It was garbage. I really hope that Israel gets his ass kicked on <laughs> this next one respected Israel a lot going into the fight. I want to see him get his ass kicked in this next fight, especially because he talks so much shit after the match was over. Yeah. Personally, I think Paulo Costa is going to be the fight that they make next, right? And I think Paulo Costa is going to win that one. So I'll go on the air right now and I will say it. Paulo Costa wins that fight. Okay, I'm going to hold you to it. Yeah, I'm going Every, to my pick. Everything here is recorded. You, I have, you've got it, Juju. I can leak that audio whenever I want. Just and he's my I witness. Annie is my witness. I am going with Paolo Costa. Paolo Costa. Lock it down, guys.